What is up guys, I'm Bruce JV. We are back with some more Naruto online and today we're going to be doing the guide for Lightning Main. You guys want a Lightning Main next, so that's what we will be doing. We're going to start by showing you guys beginner teams to use with Lightning Main, some mid-game teams, and then characters you should just go for and use on your team in the late game. Before we start, I want you guys to smash that link up there, and it'll show you the other guides for the other mains that I already done, which is Fire Main, Wind Main, and Water Main. And if you want to click that up there and check out my reaction channel where I am reacting to my hero academia click that link up there as well without further ado let's get right into this guide hey. like always you start off with these three characters right there uh, when you have these three characters you should try to want to start to replace some of the characters but for lightning main Sasuke already works perfectly with lightning main because his mystery boosts up lightning ninjas. I have the breakthrough so mine increases the attack and ninjutsu by 60% for lightning attributes units. But there, the one you will have was increase I think about 40%. Um, but if you break through them you can increase it to 60% um, increase to 4 units. Since you have Sasuke you can start taking out other ninjas like Naruto. Even though Naruto's good, but he, he works better with Wind Main because he has a whole bunch of clones and then Wind Main has a whole bunch of clones. But you can replace Naruto with this person that I'll always talk about. Kimimaro. Kimimaro works great with them as well because he also boosts Kimimaro since Kimimaro is a lightning type. And Kimimaro also causes high float. He chases high float to repose. You can just get something uh, repost to knock down from the lightning main, which he ha he already has built in his kit, and he can get like knocked down to high float, and he chases high float to low float, and then it'll do his ten hit combo chases. If you break through him, you get an extra ten hit combo chase. But if you don't, I think there's another chase that he has um, that you have to unlock for Sasuke, but basically either one he still combos together and then you can replace Sakura and put you know some other healer like Kabuto which works good so you can go with this team like that and Sasuke will buff up Kibimaro and buff up Lightning Main then you can use like Lightning Main's Lightning Style here you can use something like that and if you can unlock this lightning armor, it would be good, but you could use this Chidori blade and I'll probably re put him here. And then I'll recommend using like something like, where is he, Pakun. When you get this dog, you put Pakun here and in the second round, Pakun will hit every person on the team and tag them. And if they have a dodge person on their team, which in the early game, they shouldn't have a dodge person on the team. but there, there's some that like Sakura. She has a, a evade. There's people with evades but not dodge. There's only small few of free play dodge and evade characters, but there is some. But this will basically get rid of that, and then you, then he'll use his Chidori Blade, which will hit everybody. And then you can just start a full combo. You'll paralyze everybody, and you already got them buffed up from two people. And then um, Kabuto will actually be making Kimimaro tankier because he'll be you know hurting Kimimaro he'll get tankier and he'll be healing them at the same time so you have a, a attacker and then you have a tank which he's like an attack tank he's 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 he does an okay amount of damage and then you have Sasuke to buff up plus with all Sasuke chases you'll do a lot of damage and same thing with Kabuto with the healing and his his critical hit Chakra Dissection Blade does a good amount of damage you can also put in Hinata, if you don't want to use Kimimaro, he's okay as well. She gets buffed by the, you know, the lightning stuff as well. She's a great tank. She ha she brings CC to the team, so she'll bring some acupuncture. And acupuncture stops the opponent from using their mystery for three rounds. Three rounds, they can't use these abilities down here. They will be forced to only standard attack. They'll have to wait three turns before they can use it. They'll have to either take it off with some healer or someone that takes off debuffs. So Hinata is great to have on your team if you want some acupuncture, and she's a great tank. Um, in the early game, I will recommend putting her in the first slot, but once you get to mid game and late game, uh, it, I think it's never a good thing to put Hinata in the first slot because uh, 
<clears throat> it's all about the second round using your mystery. <clears throat> and if he notches in the first round or first slot, it's going to make your lightning main slower because he's in the second slot. So whoever's in the first slot on their team is always going to be faster than a person that's in the second second slot on your team. So by having her here, her mystery only gives her a uh, it really only gets her a rotation which she blocks standard attacks for the whole round and that doesn't really do anything except block standard attacks so you won't be able to use your attack you know with lightning main if he's in the second one so if you put him in a her second and put him in a first then in the second round he'll be able to do this thing but the downside to that having him in the first slot her in the second slot is that some of the auto attacks will still hit lightning main but if you have her in the first slot all the auto attacks will hit Hinata you know what I'm saying so it's kind of a disadvantage you have to choose which one you do I say early game early game keep Hinata in the front mid to late game put her in the second slot and not in the front so you can use your mystery of your first slot character hopefully I explained that right uh, another character you can add in is Guy Guy Sensei he uh, he gives a 25% heal to whoever does a Taiji to attack so if they attack which lightning main does do an attack if you unlock lightning armor it gives you three standard attacks and Ambu assault which gives you 25 percent um life steal too i i haven't tested this but i don't know if they stack i don't know if you get like a 50 percent to healing by standard attacking when you have both of them on the field the lightning main and the and guy sensei because they both 25 percent a experienced naruto player let me know in the comment section i haven't tested it i probably will test it one day let me know if that stacks if you get a 50 percent healing boost instead of a 25 percent if you have both of them on the field but but both of them also makes you heal when you do a standard attack so if you don't want to use if it doesn't work you can just still use the lightning style to buff up the lightning ninjas which guy sensei does and then you get some healing every time you stand or attack with your team which you have with guy which guy also has an interrupt as well so he can repost and interrupt any person that's trying to use their mystery if he's faster but when you're in a third slot you you can only interrupt people that's in a third or fourth slot if you're in the third slot you have to be your initiative has to be fa faster than theirs and if you're in a fourth slot your initiative has to be faster than the fourth slot character you can't you can't be in a fourth slot and interrupt somebody on their team in a first slot. It won't work like that. Only only whatever slot you in and lower. So third slot can stop third and fourth. It can't stop second and first. If you're in a first slot, it can stop everything if you have more initiative than the first slot. I'll do a, no, a more in depth of placement of characters and what stops what in a future video if you guys want me to do something like that. Another teams you can use in the beginning with Lightning Main, you can take out Hinata and you can use a Blitz team like this in the beginning of the game. I recommend spending some coupons to get Baruka because if you have this type of team right here, a Blitz team, which you need Lightning Main to have extra standard attacks and you put this blood demon bloodthirsty demon unless you have one extra standard attack and if you kill someone you get an extra standard attack as well so you can buff up lightning main and give them heals as well and you can buff them up super super high so you can in the early game like i said early game standard attacks is more important than late game standard attacks you can use lightning main to standard attack like four to five times and if there are clones on the field and he kills them he basically keeps going and going i remember when i started this game i hated lightning main so much because i'll use a team that had the clones he'll and they'll have a blitz team they'll auto attack the clone instantly kill it auto attack the next clone instantly kill it auto attack the next clone instantly kill it and that only counted as one attack because he killed the ninja. If he kills the ninja, it doesn't. It's basically just one attack. So he still had three to four attacks still left, and then he attack my team and end up killing one of my characters on the field. And that used to piss me off so much. I was like, oh, he used to whine. Oh, this character has too many standard attacks. But I didn't really get it back then. I was like, why does this guy get like six or seven standard attacks? It was because he was destroying the clones in the beginning and they had them buffed up so he makes sure he did enough damage to do it. And this guy gives you a life steal so it keeps him healthy as at the same time. You could also take out guy to put back in Sasuke as well. 
to buff Lightning Mane up even more, but this way won't buff him up in the first round. And yeah, this won't buff him up in the first round unless you move Sasuke here like that. If you do something like this, first round you can put up Sasuke Barrier, give him a 40% extra buff, and then you can use Lightning Mane to use all his standard attacks to try to kill everybody. In the beginning, late game, I don't see Blitz teams working off working that often because um, a lot of people are, already has their stats up, so they're a little bit tankier now. In my opinion, I don't see it that often. Blitz teams, but in the early game, it was everybody used it. It was it was a common thing to do. So I say use it in the early game. Once you get towards the end of mid game to late game, which is like around level 80, level 70 to 80. After you get to like level 80, I think you probably should start switching up your team for something better. But in the early game, standard attacks is crazy. Long they'll have Hinata. Hinata counters this whole team. So <laughs> if anybody has either this Hinata or that Hinata, it will really counter the team. But if they don't, you have a chance of killing at least one person plus all their clones. So now let's move on to teams for the mid game that you can use. I recommend you pull in the lightning treasure because the ninjas and the lightning treasure work well with the lightning main which is Raikage which he costs 210 seal scrolls if you can get him. You also could get Omui and Samui. This team right here is a really good team especially for the mid game somewhat late game. I still see people use this team all the time in arena. A is a super a super tank. He can't be chased in a combo at all and the more chakra he has the the more attack and defense he has and Samui gives you more chakra when a hidden cloud ninja standard attack so when he standard attacks he gets some chakra when she standard attacks he gets chakra and when he standard attacks which he standard attacks multiple times because he gets the extra standard attack if he chases and he summons two clones so that's extra standard attack so you can get 100 chakra in the first round make a super tanky and has a lot of damage and then the next round you can end up one shotting a person in a combo because he's already buffed up so much and you have lightning main to buff him up even more which is this ability right here you buff him up even more and omui and samui tag people and a person who gets tagged it, re it just says it right there reduces the defense and resistance by 30 percent so now their defense is reduced by 30 percent a is buffed up to <laughs> almost like 100% damage, you give him 40% extra buff, you will end up either one-shotting a character in the whole combo or even one-shotting a character with his mystery. So this team, that's why I say I recommend getting it because they work perfectly together. They're like made for each other. They all combo off each other. You just have to get Lightning Mane to fill in the blank spots to make it the combo go longer. And Samui, she also interrupts with her her mystery. So if somebody's trying to use a mystery, you can stop them from using it, and it tags. The only flaw with this team is that the, since he's so strong, he's, he gets a lot of attack, he gets a lot of defense, he gets tagged, he gets a paralyzed, he gets an immobile. The only weakness he has is he has no way to take off CC with this team. You can't take off any CC with this team. So if, if they just acupuncture him, he becomes useless. He just standard attack somebody. If they immobile him, he becomes useless. If they chaos him, he becomes useless. So the character I probably recommend replacing only to put someone in there to take off CC, which you can put either a healer, maybe Tsunade, which she causes low float to high float. So she will work perfectly which he, she causes, he'll do his mystery, which causes repost. He'll do repost to high float, high float to knockdown, knockdown to low float, and then Tsunade would do low float to high float, and I think he chases, oh, you, you can just use your lightning main, which chases high float to either low float or low float to repost, because his repost to high float chases twice. So you can make a team, so you can either put her in, so you can take off some CC, just in case he gets that. Maybe you could put in Sakura, you could put in one of the pain. You could put in one, one of the pains like this guy. He takes his off. You take off one layer of debuff twice around. So he can basically take any CC off of your team if they put it on there. Or you can put in maybe th this one. Which I think 
the other the other one I just gave you is a lot better than this one but he also heals and he takes off debuff two layers of debuff but he also can bring somebody back to life but he doesn't have a prompt on his mystery so when the person doesn't have a prompt on their mystery that means it will wait to their standard attack turn for them to use their mystery so if someone has a prompt they'll use their mystery immediately if they have the most initiative they'll use their mystery right when you press the button but when you press the button for someone that doesn't have a prompt it will go through his standard attack their standard attack her standard attack their standard attack his standard attack their standard attack then and when it gets to your guy he will finally use his mystery and that's what sucks about prompts so people can end up stopping this guy from using his mystery you have to time it you have to let them stat attack like he attacks they attack she attacks they attack he attacks and when they attack you press your mystery so when your turn comes he'll automatically do it and it gives them less time to react to stop you from using your mystery as a person that has a non prompt but most of the time people will be waiting for you to try to use his mystery or a person with a non prompt mystery so they can stop it but you just have to time it and try to make them mess up so you can use your mystery but if you press your mystery after you stand or attack you will have to wait the whole round all over again to it comes back to you from here for him to use his mystery so if a person has a non prompt that's why non prompt prompt characters are not that great because they can't use their mystery when they need to and they can they'll just interrupt them and they make so many good characters they make so many characters good but the prompt is what brings them to a low tier character but enough about that you can either add that guy so basically you can add something like that to protect him or you just say freak it I'm winging it I'm hoping this works type of team then you can just add in um, I don't have him on his account but this guy right here Darwy you can add him in that slot over here Darwy buffs up ninjas lightning ninjas with his barrier because he's like Sasuke except his barrier automatically just comes up you don't have to use your mystery to put it up which it boosts it by 40% it boosts lightning and water type ninjas so you can use this team with the water main if you like because she will also get buffed up and you can use CC you know her CC stuff and poison and all that stuff you can use it with earth main too this is what I use this team first for earth main but I'll explain that when I do the earth main guide because this team also works with earth main it kind of works with every main but the best main is lightning main and my opinion earth main and water main those are my favorite ones to use this team with and you just put Darwi in there to add to the team another team you can use at mid game is if you can get Tendo you should be able to get Tendo by just doing if you want this guy do not pull in the treasure to get him if you beat this right here the ultimate training you can get the character you just have to beat all of these all of these and all of these and they'll give you that character for free you don't have to spend in the treasure to get him so I do not recommend Spending in that treasure, there's nothing good in that treasure except him, and he's just oh, he's just okay. That's why he's he's good for mid game. But there is some people, I think on my server, that's still using his team to um, fight, but they have high battle power, so it kind of makes up for it. But basically, you can add if you get um, uh, Mabui, she gives a shield to lightning ninjas and water ninjas, uh, thirty percent to lightning ninjas and then you want to give him the lightning style you can put this lightning armor and calm mind to give him a lot of chakra because he needs 80 chakra to use his mystery and which when he uses his mystery he does some damage he does the damage to almost everybody on the field and he destroys the barrier so if somebody has a barrier he destroys it and it, this his mystery can't be interrupted so if somebody has an interrupt it has to say interrupt if somebody has a chaos and all that stuff um, or immobile it will stop him from using his mystery but they have an interrupt like Aruka which it says it has an interrupt or Samui like I showed you it won't stop his mystery his mystery will still go off and like I was explaining he doesn't have a prompt so you have to time it to use his mystery and then you can add Conan to the team to make a pain team which Conan is a sh gives a shield to um, nine Akatsuki's based on resistance and it boosts the ninjutsu and attack of the unit by 30%. So you give him a, a big shield and then you boost him with lightning main and and Conan, which I do recommend breakthroughing her as well. You give him a shield and then you give him a lot of chakra for he can use his mystery and the 
mystery in the first round and hit everybody on the team and destroy the barrier and all that stuff and then they also has a combo because she chases a knockdown to knockdown it's a really easy combo and she chases a knockdown to knockdown and he chases knockdown to knockdown and he chases repost to knock down twice so all you have to do is do the rhino does knock down to repost as he chases repost to knock down it will do the rhino repost or knock down to repost he will chase again repost to knock down and then knock down to repost and then you have your mr your regular chase for the light main which is repost to knock down and everybody already chases knock down to knock down already so they already chase each other and then in the second round you can use mob Boy, her mystery just which causes knockdown to knock down and if somebody's like super low you can just bring them off the field but it's the same thing as killing them so it doesn't really matter but they all chase and then you can have um oh yeah also M uh, mob gives 40 chakra so you start the round with 20 chakra and she will get you up to 60 chakra which I, you probably don't need the lightning armor you probably could use chidori or chidori blade for the next round because this will give you 20 chakra which gets used to 80 chakra which he will use as mystery but if you want to be sure and make sure you want to get to past that 80 chakra or even have some chakra left over or something i don't know you can use this as well so that's what you can do for a, for a tendo pain team like i said do not pull him out the treasure just beat that train ultimate training and you'll get him for free and then another team you can use mid game which goes great with lightning main is sword user teams so if you can get she sweet which i do recommend he's really great he buffs up fire lightning and wind so i do recommend getting she sweet i recommend him he's great for any team and if you can get ambu itachi and you can go with mifune you can do a sword team lightning man will get buffed up what you want you would like i said you want to use this ability it's basically a blitz team but it's all sword ninjas and then you can use warrior killing instinct which um, at the beginning of the battle up to three sword users on your lineup will increase their attack by 40 percent if this unit's mystery defeats in another unit the mystery cooldowns to zero so if you kill somebody with your mystery with this if you get somebody with your mystery with this you'll get your mystery back and you want to use either blood thirsty demon or you want to use this which i do recommend this one this right here three sword user on your team will be immune for two round and have a hundred percent resistance um on your team so it only picked three since you have four people which you can't replace somebody and put like a regular ninja and makes sure it will guarantee you get you know those three ninjas immune one person will be unimmune and one and the rest of the three will be immune and then Mufune, he increases the ninjutsu and attack of nine sword ninjas by 30 percent and, and like i said she sweet buffs up fire lightning and wind so you'll buff up himself and he'll buff up lightning main and then itachi will give a extra standard attack and take off debuffs from she sweet uchiha characters so you'll take off debuffs so you can use a team like this a sword ninja team if you can get these characters let me see if i can give you a team a sword ninja team that's easier to try to use you can still do like the blitz team with wind blade but you can use sasuke this time you can use Sasuke because he is a sword ninja and he boosts his lightning. I do recommend if you try to do a sword team trying to get Mifune because that's a good buff. If you pull in the Great Ninja War Treasure, which I do recommend pulling in that as well. She's also great as well. She's a sword ninja. She doesn't buff any sword ninjas, but she does have a, pair, a 10 in combo chase, which it will be easy for Sasuke to get to that and activate, which she will paralyze one person. And if people on your team are paralyzed, you can immobile them with her mystery and with lightning main you know you have your standard attacks and you have your chases so if you have something with this chase which i think she causes what she calls she causes low float and i think uh chase for sasuke if you don't have a breakthrough i have a breakthrough if you don't have a breakthrough i think he does have a chase that chases low float to high float i think which lightning main i have to change it back to check it but Lightning Man will chase high float to low float. It will put somebody paralyzed. It will cause a 10 combo, which she will do her combo, which Sasuke will do his combo. And uh, Windblade Asuma gives you 20 chakra in a round. And if you have full life, 
you will do a lot of damage so you can do something like this plus keep the st the same stuff on because they're all sword ninjas so they'll get the immunity some three of them and they will, three of them will also get the 40 percent increased attack so you can do something like that also kimi Morrow is a sword ninja too so that counts if this is a free to play team you can use right here if you get windblade awesome this is a they're all sword ninjas because <laughs> you know kimi Morrow can pull a sword out of his back so he's considered a sword ninja so you could also use that buff for them as well he will boost up the lightning he will boost up lightning and then you don't have to use you know this lightning you can use the ch chakra Tadori and all that stuff for sword ninjas there's all the sword ninjas over here that you can just replace all these characters in a slot whatever sword type of team you would like to make they'll all work i do recommend getting mifune because he does buff sword ninjas as well so you can have more buffs Plus, you know, Shisui and whoever else buffs on your team. Which I do recommend pulling a great ninja rare character treasure because the seven ninja swordsmen are in there. So if you want to make a swords team with Zabuza, this guy, Kampachi, uh, who else is seven ninja swordsmen? So he's kind of a seven ninja swordsman killer B because he has Samahara. But Kisame is also a seven ninja swords. This guy, you know, so. If you want to pull them to treasure, all the seven ninja swordsmen are in there. If you want a sword team, they even there's even Kakashi beheading sword who has Zabuza's blade in the game. So now let's talk about the characters I recommend you go for. So like I said, Shisui, perfect character for him. You should get. I also think Donzo boosts lightning. Donzo also boosts lightning, so I do recommend you getting Donzo. You could get him out of the collection for free, or you could end up pulling them in the treasure right here you just go here and you just once you unlock this this um collection just go here you get three frags every day of donzo unlock them you can replace sasuke and put donzo there or if you don't have shishui you can put donzo there as well and i don't know if donzo i don't think donzo has a sword donzo does not have a sword but the rest of the three ninjas like if you take out sasuke everybody else will get that immunity except donzo but Donzo does have a mystery that when somebody dies, if you put Izanagi, Izanagi on someone and they die, they'll come back to life with 80% of their life. Um, so you can put that on him or you can put that on himself to protect him. He doesn't have CC, but CC immunity, but everybody else do for two turns. So you can do something like that if you want to switch out that barrier ninja or you don't have Shishui for a barrier ninja. He's free. Just keep getting that every day once you unlock it. It may take you like two months two maybe three months but you'll get them it's free uh chiriku is a great ninja to put with him like i said aruka you should go for uh shisui all the seven ninja swordsmen i do recommend going for as well because they all work with lightning main because they all have swords so you could give them all the sword immunities if you have lightning main on your team Tintin works well with lightning main if you can just do a chase and she put paralyzes down She's just a great ninja to work with almost any team. Like I said, Omui, Samui, A, definitely go for them in the Lightning Treasure if you want, you know, build some teams. Killer B works good with Lightning Main because he's a Lightning type and he's a Sword Ninja. This guy works with well with Lightning Main as well. If somebody's paralyzed and he does his mystery on them, he'll reset his mystery down by one. So you can just keep using his mystery every round if they're if they're paralyzed. Yes, I think there's if they're suffering from paralyzed, this unit's mystery will cool down or reduce by one. So having them on a lightning team will also be good as well. And he also generates a shield. Regenerates a shield, random lightning attribute units in your lineup for 20% resistance. Can't trigger. Yeah, so, so so trigger two times around, he could put a lightning shield. I mean a lightning shield. He could put a shield of 20% resistance on someone. So he works well with Lightning Main as well, which he is in the Great Ninja War Treasure. Great Ninja War Treasure is like built for Lightning Main. So I definitely recommend getting Great Ninja War Hinata works well with, with him. I recommend putting her with Lightning Main and Sasuke. They are great, those two are a great team. And put Omui. I think it was a I think I created a team with Sasuke, Omui, um, Hinata, and Lightning Main. Try that team out. <clears throat> I think it works really well. Like I said, Donzo, you should get. Sasuke, you should get as well. He's lightning. If you want to go for Susano Sasuke, he's in the Kage Treasure. Or you can piece him together. He comes up in events. He's he gets he's pretty expensive in events, but you can save up your your pieces and get like one to two frags. 
every time he shows up it will take a long time but you will eventually get him for free uh any sakura sakura is always good for any team or you can get raining on sasuke if you want to save up coupons to get them around i'll say 20 000, 20k coupons to 30k coupons you probably could get raining on sasuke so save up in between there and you can just straight out buy him with coupons for free any character you can mostly every character you can get for free you just have to put the time in to do it um hinatas these there's other hinatas here you can try if you don't like the other two hinatas ambu kakashi works perfectly with lightning main and ambu itachi so if you have ambu itachi lightning main and ambu akashi ambu kakashi and shisui that's a great team right there because Itachi chases high float to repost twice and he chases repost to high float three times and he works with Ambu so so um Ambu Itachi will be immune or not immune but they can't be targeted for mystery any Ambu ninja and lightning main is considered an Ambu ninja as well if you pick his mystery if you pick this right here Ambu special tactics is the one that gives you you know life still it says right here after using the skill Midnight Blade will be considered a Ambu. So, Kakashi makes Ambu characters immune to mysteries. Or not immune, but they can't be targeted by mysteries. So, somebody can't. You could put Lightning Mane in the first round. And in the second round, somebody can't use their mystery on you. Unless you just know an area effect one that hits multiple people. But actually targeting you, they can't do that. It lasts for two rounds. So, Ambu Kakashi, I do recommend getting. He works well up with the lightning main it makes both of them immune and no one can attack them with their mystery for two rounds or you can use it with Ambu Itachi or you can just take Ambu Itachi out and, and it'll guarantee those two characters will get that um, that passive on them and he does a lot of damage he does paralyze he has acupuncture he's a great character I do recommend Ambu Kakashi uh, I recommend uh, Orochimaru all the Orochimaru's because they all they're also sword ninjas as well Cause you know he has a sword in his throat and all that crap. Except this one, this one's not a sword ninja, and I think the 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 traitor Orochimaru is not a sword ninja either. One that brings up the Hokages. Tsunade is great for healing. He's always good. Edo Tensei Haruzen is great. He's just a great ninja. Period. Um, Kisame is a great ninja. He's a sword ninja. The um, Tobirama, Edo Tensei Tobirama is a great ninja as well. He's a sword ninja. He causes. He chases, you know, 30 combo chasing all that stuff. Haruzen, if you can get him, he takes forever to try to get though. All the Minotos are good, so I recommend all of them. Here's another Wind Blade. So if you go, if you pull in the Great Ninja War Treasure and you get some Sword Ninjas that are Edo Tensei, I recommend using this Asuma because he also works with Edo Tensei. It says if you, if there are three or more units are present in your lineup, three or more Edo Tensei units that are present in your lineup. In your party you get 40 chakra you get more chakra than the other one gives you he also does the same thing if you have full life he increases it your attack by 30 percent so you also get some more chakra while you also get the same buffs as the one but they both work well it's just a 30 it's just more chakra for one than the other one so if you have but if you had a edo tensei team i still recommend putting this awesome because some of the edo tensei work well with other edo tenseis they buff them and all that stuff like sasori and stuff like that or jinpachi kakazu Daydora, I recommend Hidon. I do recommend he also a sword ninja as well. Not that many people use him anymore. But if you get him and you're still around like 80, level 90, you know, you're still fighting people around like 80k battle power, 90k battle power, he'll be pretty good. 70k battle power, he'll still be good. Once you get into that 100k battle power, he'll start to not be as good anymore. Angel Conan is a really great character. Ambu. Um, Ambu Yamato works well with Ambu Kakashi or Ambu. I don't know if he works well with Ambu Itachi, but Ambu Kaka Kakashi will make him immune to mysteries just like he does for Lightning Main. Or you can just make a straight out Ambu team, all Ambu characters. That's, that works well. A, this one works well if you can get this A, Raikage. You can buff him. He's a Lightning, lightning type. He attacks multiple times. You put Samui on your team. And you throw, you use Samui's mystery. If a person is tagged, he will attack that person. So you basically you can, you can sick <laughs> the fourth Raikage on any person that's not immune, and he will go after him. With, if you have Samui on your team, which I do recommend getting Samui out of the Lightning Treasure, Killer Bees, I recommend getting Darui. I definitely recommend getting. He's like a 
kind of an upgraded version of Sasuke. Uh, all the Itachis are great. Um, some of the Jinchurikis you can use. You can get some of these Jinchurikis if you want. Masked Man. I gotta hurry this up. The video is getting pretty long. And Kushina, I recommend. Sage of Six Paths Naruto, definitely recommend. Guy, you could try Die on your team. I never tried him, but I would like to. But he's a Lightning Ninja as well, so he might work. You might be able to buff him up, make him do a lot of damage. That's gonna be it, guys. Hopefully, this helps you out in building a team for Lightning Main or give you a little thing, a guide to how to build a team for Lightning Main. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Before we end this video, make sure you click the link so you can see the guides for the rest of the main, the Wind Main the water main and fire main up there also click the link so you can see check out my reaction channel which i react to my hero academia over there right now before we go let's try to get to 5,000 subscribers that's our goal if you guys enjoy hit that like button if you did not hit that like button anyway stream on mondays wednesdays and saturdays i said mondays wednesdays and saturdays like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in a breeze Yay.